So our blind pug pancake has been literally kamikaze jumping herself off of this front entryway stairwell. Let, let's go look at it. As you can see here, there are one, two, three, four, five, six steps and she's blind. So if this gate is open, she will run right off the edge of that. And she's done that two times in the last 24 hours. That's a big drop for such a small pug. Uh, let's look at specimen number one. Pancake, why do you do that? Why do you jump off that pancake? So what we think is going on is that I'm downstairs. Pancake knows I'm downstairs because I'm not up here. She can't hear me chatting away as always. And so she tries to run off the edge of the stairs. She's just trying to get to me. She takes quite a fall. It's quite a tumble when she does. It's not good. So this little thing will make all the difference. Because what happens is the big one, jelly bean, specimen number two. Jelly bean, come here. The big one, jelly bean, specimen number two. She, she also wants to come down to see me. She'll push open that gate and then leave it open for Pancake to lunge herself off of it. So we need to protect them at all costs. So that gate needs to stay closed. She pours a good cup of coffee. What a cutie. I told Steph I'd make her breakfast, so I'm gonna do that right now. You okay with that? Gonna make breakfast. Okay, let's do it. I'm getting palpitations. Because you're too close to me? It's like getting too close to the sun. Yeah, careful, you're gonna freaking break your back on this ice over here. Yeah, it's uh, it's cold and icy. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <sighs> oh, I'm not a fan of this weather. Doom and gloom, baby. So what are we doing out on such a gloomy day? Going around. I basically spent the entire morning trying to rehabilitate my back. It is way worse today. Turns out that snowshoe run thing that I went on yesterday probably was not the best idea. It was just such a nice day though, I could not do it. I'm having some back trouble today and uh, now I'm taking along with Steph while she runs some errands. Should be um, cold and gloomy. Well, we gotta go and get, we gotta go to the Dollarama. Okay, whoa, Dollarama. Cause that's the only thing <laughs> that's here. We're in a tiny town that has no stores in it. And so there's a Dollarama. So when you got a shop, you got a shop. Dollarama, all right, let's hit it up. Success? Yeah. Why does it smell like marijuana out here? Because there's like a store there. Dispensary? Yeah, yeah. Damn. Label better. Ew, look at all the nasty fingerprints on it. Better to see you with, my dear. This wonderful Will never planned on being in charge, but his kindness and consideration have helped him be an excellent team leader. Just like <laughs> you. What do you got there? Oh. God. Listen to the noise it makes. So what happens to me if you squeeze too tightly? Gross. <laughs> yeah, let's get out of here. So we're going for a little walk down here, checking it, checking out the scenery. It's been kind of a weird day today. My back is way worse today than yesterday, and so I've spent all morning basically stretching and rolling it out, trying to get it under control. Not quite there yet, it's pretty bad. So I was gonna ride, I'm not gonna ride. I keep thinking that the riding and the running is gonna help, but it's not, so I'm trying to do some mild active recovery. So we're just walking here, treacherous. We got a bit of work done. Def has been busy, yeah. hustling the last two days, doing like endless amounts of paperwork for her program. And well, we ran some errands for her as well. She's got uh, some travel and stuff coming up. 
We've also spent the last like, I don't know, two hours trying to make some plans and figure some stuff out. And our plans have changed maybe 18 times in the last two hours. Still haven't decided on a few things for the next few days. And so it's this whole process. I don't know, it's kind of frustrating, but it's a good problem to have, I guess. Opportunities and options and stuff. Look at this crazy place. Something, it's kind of cold. Look at all these skidoo tracks. Ain't she something? Mm -hmm. And just like that, we're gonna call it on that walk. <laughs> Back is sore and it's freaking cold out here and uh, I didn't bring a coat, stupid me. And uh, yeah, my back is not feeling good. So, yo, there's this, what's going on up here? There's this kid like in an army, out, in an army outfit. You can't see him because he's camouflaged. All right, see you tomorrow.